Hi guys, welcome to the My ACC account. Now, once you've registered yourself with the ACCA, every student has a unique ID and a login and a password that the ACCA will provide you. And you use those details to log into your My ACCA. Okay. Now, this is your go-to portal uh, through your entire journey of the ACCA qualification because everything that you need for completing your ACCA qualification will be available on the My ACCA, right? Right from paying your uh, exam fee, paying your subscription fee, accessing the various resources that ACCA makes available to you, uh, your result copies, your certificates, documenting your PER, everything has to be done through the My ACCA account, okay? So you need to constantly be in touch with uh, this portal and also constantly be in touch with the updates which are there on My ACCA. Now, if I have to go through the portal, uh, as soon as you land on the portal, you're going to be able to first things first as a student see your progress. Okay, so for example, this uh, account, uh, this candidate has finished nine out of 13 exams. Okay, so you have you get to see your progress and then most importantly, you get to see these various features. Okay, now first is book your exam. So when you have exam book, karna, you basically need to click here and you know thereafter you'll be guided off uh, choosing your exam choosing your attempt um, making your payment and so on okay uh, the process thereafter is quite self-explanatory okay now uh, this is a place where you can find your tuition so as you all know that the acc has got the concept of an approved learning provider okay so it's very important to sign up with an approved learning provider who can actually uh, guide you, train you, coach you, mentor you through the entire program. And ACC has got an entire list of approved learning providers. There is silver, there is gold, there are platinum providers. So you'll be able to find your tuition year basis, where you stay, basis, what mode of learning you are opting for. Now, this is the ACC study hub. Now, this is a very uh, interesting uh, resource that the ACCA has made for all the students. This is actually ACCA's learning resource where there is access to a host of things like notes, quizzes, tests, etc. Now we're going to do an entire video specifically on how to use the ACCA study hub. Uh, so, you know, you can watch that video. We'll also give you the link. Uh, okay, so in a little while, we'll take you through that video as well. This is a CB practice platform. Now, as all of you all know, that uh, the ACCA is a completely online exam. So obviously you need a lot of practice, uh, you know, of doing online exams and spe specifically in the format and then in the environment of the ACCA. So there is an entire practice platform that the ACCA makes available for students. Again, we've got an entire video showing you how to use the practice platform. So let's deep dive in more in that particular video. This is study support resources. Now, this is basically taking you to the ACCA website where ACC has again made for you resources for every paper. So for example, if you're doing the PM paper, you know, you can, you have a variety of resources like what is PM, you know, creating your strategy, examining team guidance, you have the syllabus, and then again, you have access to various resources of the ACCA. You have past exam papers, examiner reports, which is very, very important, you know, because the examiners give a detailed report for every attempt, their observations on how they felt candidates perform, what, what typical mistakes students made in that particular exam, which questions went right, which questions were challenging. So there's an entire report that you can access here. Then, of course, there are access to uh, mock exams and so on. So this is a very interesting resource. And for every paper, ACCA has created this. So this is actually available on the ACCA's website, but you can access it via your uh, My ACCA. Apart from that, if you are a knowledge level student and you're doing on-demand exams, which is uh, the first four papers of the ACCA, that's BTFM and law, then you have practice tests available that you can access over here. This is your detailed exam history. Now, I think this is a very interesting part of the portal because what the ACCA does is, at least for the skills level so far, they have a detailed ex report of how you have performed after ex every exam. So let me take you through this. So for example, let's say this candidate has written the tax exam. Let's see this candidate's exam feedback. Now, uh, for this particular attempt, this candidate is given feedback like this. Okay, so for example, time management. So how was time managed between the various sections? Okay, and then there is an entire commentary which is available on whether time was adequately managed, not managed across section A, B and C and what the examiner feels. Okay, then if you look at the syllabus, 
uh, you know of course your paper tested so many different parts of the syllabus right so again there is a detailed performance feedback on how you have performed across the various key chapters of the syllabus right so for each of the chapters there is a performance feedback available and obviously some next steps have been detailed out for you all right and then of course in skills as you know there is an objective and there's a constructive response so there's a detailed feedback available on how you performed in the objective section and then there is a detailed feedback available on how you performed in each of the questions in the constructive response so after you finish writing an exam and your result is come you must make it a point to open this part of the portal and view uh, you know how you have performed in that particular exam all right and then of course there are certain administrative things like you know if you want to change your exam or if you have any complaints related to the exam you could access these resources as well okay so these are the top 3 4 resources which you should constantly keep in touch with uh, you know as you are studying for the acca uh, of course then as you know that as a part of your membership you also need to uh, you know uh, do a online ethics and professional skills module Uh, which is very important so you will be able to also access the module from here typically it's advised to students to do it before they start the professional level so you know you can uh, finish your entire ethics and professional skills module from here all right i hope so far so clear now uh, going back you have your key dates outlined by acca so for example the result date the next exam date when you pay when is the annual subscription due this is very important the acca will give you a complete understanding into what is due okay what is it that you still need to pay to ye dekhna bahut zaruri hai and obviously for every transaction that you perform with the acca like you booked an exam or probably you paid the uh, annual subscription uh, you know what you paid your invoices everything is made available to you over here now you can also book an exam from here you can view all your certificates so for example after you clear the knowledge level you have a diploma in accounting and finance after you finish the skills level you have an advanced diploma after you finish 13 papers you are an affiliate after you've documented your per and finish your epsm you become a member so all your certificates can be made available uh, by clicking this tab okay uh you have your transcripts so for example uh you know uh, your entire exam history which exam you gave how uh, whether you passed failed uh, what was the attempt was what what was the marks the whole history of all your uh, results is available over here okay and of course when you start working and you start documenting your per which is a completely detailed process you can go here and you start recording your practical experience i hope by now all of you all know that you need 36 months of relevant work experience to claim membership so there are detailed videos on how to document your per uh, which you can access of course on any of the acca uh, uh, you know resources and even on the acca website there are detailed videos but this is where you go basically to start recording your per okay so this is it's as simple as this and of course you have uh, your fees and transactions over here so if you want to understand how to pay you want to understand the various exam fees Uh, and you know your subscription fees your exemption fees if you want to understand certain important dates related to uh, when to book which is what is the standard entry what is the late entry what are the subscription dates everything is mentioned over here right so this is basically uh, what you need to know as regards my acca is concerned okay uh, this is a overview of course now once you deep dive and you start seeing each of the sections you will get a fairer and a more clear understanding okay so like i said this is going to be your go to resource as regards doing any transactions with the acca is concerned as regards getting all your results uh, you know and your certificates as regards getting your detailed exam performance and most importantly the key resources that you need to uh, study with which is your study hub which is your cb practice platform uh, and so on now we've got a detailed video on how to use the cb practice platform and how to use a detailed study hub so do go and check that video out as well i hope this information is helpful